This is the first in a series of tutorials that will introduce you to the basics of Jira software. In this tutorial, you'll learn about the two Agile boards, Scrum and Kanban. You'll also learn how each board functions to help you and your team plan and execute work. This tutorial is all about the planning stage of Agile methodology. Now we do assume you already have a solid foundation in Agile methodology, but you'll see that we review many of the concepts that you need to get started with Jira software. Hi, I'm Ryan from Atlassian. Every day I help teams all over the world collaborate using Agile methodology. Today I'm going to help you learn the basics of Jira software. Let's begin with a story. As I mentioned, I help teams. In business these days, it's really common for companies to have teams distributed everywhere, people stationed and doing work all over the world. A few years back, I worked with a team that was starting out with Agile methodology. They had teams in San Francisco, Sao Paulo, Brazil, and even a couple of teams in Ohio, I think. Each team had their own physical version of these poster boards. On each poster board, they would attach post-it notes under columns that read to do, in progress, and done. Every few days, they would have video conference calls where the project lead would say, okay, everybody move this post-it note from to do to in progress. Line by line, each team would physically move the post-it notes through every column in the workflow. They would do this for every single task completed. As you can imagine, it was frustrating, archaic, and actually kind of hilarious when you look back on it. What I'm attempting to express here is that Jira software is what that process, with the poster boards and post-it notes, looks like as an application. Jira software is used to manage software development. Let's explore more. I want to reiterate how everything translates into Jira software. The poster board that the team used to track their to-do items becomes either a scrum board or a Kanban board in Jira software. I'll explain the difference between the two boards in a few minutes. The post-it notes, which sit on the board, become issues that move through the workflow. Boards can be viewed by all members of your team and team members can be notified when new or existing issues require their attention. There are two types of boards in Jira software. I'll explain both types briefly, and then we'll dive deeper into each. The first type of board is a scrum board. Scrum boards are an excellent way for a software development team to get started, but it's not just for software teams. Scrum excels as a methodology for any team that has a deliverable to ship. The structure of Scrum is great for keeping the team on track. The fixed length development time frame, frequent check-ins, and team communication, along with ceremonies like the end of sprint retrospective, all contribute to the stakeholders knowing how the project's going and to the team continually improving their development process. Kanban is great for teams whose main objective is managing the flow of work. Think of operations teams or support teams, although it can certainly be used effectively by other teams. It lacks the formal structure of Scrum, so teams need to be effective at working together and managing progress and communication without an imposed structure. I want to explain a bit more about the functions of a Kanban board, just to give you more context about how Jira software is used. Kanban boards are great for helping teams manage the flow of work. For example, Someone like a support queue manager might add work items to the backlog as they arrive. That manager then prioritizes each item so that the most urgent requests appear at the top of the backlog, like this, making it efficient for team members to pick up prioritized items as they have availability to work on them. Kanban boards manage a continual flow of work. For the following tutorials, we'll focus less on Kanban boards and more on Scrum boards. Unlike Kanban boards, Scrum boards help teams whose focus is on planning, committing, and delivering bodies of work over a fixed length period of time called a sprint. In these instances, the team decides how long they want their sprints to be. Typically, sprints last about two to four weeks. Managing the Scrum board before, during, and after a sprint is a team effort. Here's how that works. Product owners define and create issues for all the work to be done. 
They add that work to the product backlog, which acts like a giant to-do list. Product owners then prioritize each item so that the most urgent items appear at the top. The team then grooms the product backlog, developing finer detail for the highest priority work items, and estimating how long each might take to complete. Then, developers pull items from the product backlog into the sprint backlog. They pull as many as they feel as a team they can complete during that sprint. These items, once added to the sprint backlog, function as an active to-do list from which the team works. Once the sprint's finished, the team typically holds a retrospective meeting to assess the work completed. At this meeting, the team might adjust the product backlog to reflect findings such as incorrect estimations or other inefficiencies before beginning another product iteration in the next sprint. Which type of board do you think you'll be using? Let's finish by exploring the team breakdown a bit further. In Jira software, different team members are responsible for different things. Just to give you an idea, the Jira Global Administrator typically creates the project for your team and creates new workflows when needed. Other team members, like the Scrum Master, could create and own the boards. Product owners usually create and prioritize issues, and so on. And of course, there's the developers. They work with the product owner to prioritize issues. They can also add new issues to the backlog if they discover that a single issue needs to be split into more than one task, or if something was missed in the original plan. Teams work together to figure out the best ways to engage the process and complete each sprint effectively. For these tutorials, we focus on the tasks rather than the details of exactly who carries out each task. It's important to know, however, that there are special permissions needed to do some of the tasks that we talk about. Let's take a few moments to review what we have learned. Check out Atlassian University for more great JIRA tutorials.